Almost a week had passed. Kevin had stopped being able to smell either Heather or himself a few days ago. Still, there was enough intermittent noise down below and outside to keep him from daring to venture from this dark, stuffy attic that they'd taken refuge in. The only thing he was certain of at this point was that Shaw and his men were gone. For perhaps the thousandth time, he gave serious consideration to the shotgun sitting within reach. He'd do Heather first, then shove the barrel against the roof of his mouth. He didn't want to leave the slightest possibility that he might merely cause serious damage. He wanted to make sure that there wasn't enough to identify him using dental records. Not that there were any dentists around anymore. No, sir, Kevin thought. If it comes to it, I want to be very dead. He shook the bottle leaning against his thigh. They would be out of water by tomorrow, even with the strictest rationing. Yesterday, he'd heard it raining. Never was he more thankful for the darkness. It wouldn't do his ego any good to have Heather see him cry. Now he was starting to hallucinate because he was almost certain that he'd been drawn from his restless dreams by a female voice. Heather, he whispered. No response. That was actually a relief. He could feel his guts churning and knew that things were about to become unpleasant. He could bear crawl to the far corner that they designated as the toilet area. He would be able to take care of his nasty business in semi-private. Then, perhaps, he might even risk taking a peek through the hatch that led to the office below. As carefully and as quietly as possible, he made his way to the far corner. His body did things. Made sounds and released smells that mortified him to the core. Once he was finished, he tore off a few strips from the shirt they'd chosen to use as toilet paper. The only thing that he felt good about at the moment was that he hadn't puked this time. Crawling over to the trap door, Kevin took a breath to steady his nerves and then pulled the square hatch up. He looked down into the debris-strewn corridor. His eyes took a moment to adjust to the change in light. It didn't appear that too many zombies had made it up the stairwell that led from the bank's lobby to the business offices above where they'd fled. He'd gone down a few times to look around, had never managed to venture farther than halfway down the stairs before retreating. He didn't need to see. The moans and wheezes of the undead told him all he needed to know. They were in the open bank lobby, in numbers too great for him and Heather to even consider fighting through. Unfortunately, they were almost out of options. Time had waited out their hand and was ready to collect. The window of opportunity to make a move was now or never. 